Greetings from Sevi Layman. If you watched my videos on Precision Boost Overdrive and Curve Optimizer, you may have complained either about the increased power draw and temperature caused by the race limits or the extensive manual effort associated with curve optimization. The good news is both of these concerns can be addressed with an overclocking software utility. Please welcome the Project Hydra. Why one names their useful tool after a many-headed serpent from the Greek mythology is a mystery to me, but whatever. Kudos for Hydra goes to Yuri Bubli, aka Juan Usmus, who has developed a few useful tools for AMD ecosystem so far. Being Yuri's Patreon, I was able to download Hydra version 1.2b and c and tested them thoroughly. I need to say, I was quite impressed with how much I could achieve with very little effort. Yuri went completely overboard with his tool, therefore I will only scratch its surface so that you could overclock and or undervolt your Ryzen CPU as quickly as possible. Hydra can do its magic also with AMD Radeon graphics cards, but since I currently don't own any, I will skip this feature set and focus purely on the CPUs instead. Both Zen 3 and Zen 4 CPUs are supported and there are two main ways to optimize their performance. The first is the classic Precision Boost Overdrive 2 with Curve Optimizer. The other is a proprietary mode called Hybrid OC. Hybrid OC combines best of undervolting as well as Curve Optimizer worlds. Hybrid OC identifies the sweet spot where Ryzen CPU is most efficient. The power user can tweak the diagnostic settings to push for less efficiency and more frequency, but the majority of users can stick to the default values. When the diagnostics is finished, Hybrid OC creates multiple voltage and frequency profiles, which are dynamically applied depending on how many cores are currently in use and how heavy the load is. Automated profile switching is very solid, and one doesn't even have to modify low-line calibration settings. I personally haven't experienced any instability whatsoever. Well, I haven't while I was stuck with the default settings. Once I increased the diagnostic single core VID, I actually experienced quite a few reboots. However, a very nice thing is that Hydra always intercepts such unexpected shutdowns and its optional assistant asks about the conditions which led to the crash. Based on this input of yours, it updates its boost tables. Even the classic PBO2 with Curve Optimizer has a dynamic option in Hydra, which manipulates the voltage to frequency curve in real time during multiple workloads to achieve better performance. Unless you want to tamper with advanced settings, the initial setup process is surprisingly easy. Just go to the Diagnostic section, where you can choose whether you want Hydra diagnose and optimize just the voltage to frequency curve, or you want it to run the extra mile with hybrid OC. It meanwhile asks you a few questions about your motherboard, cooling and the primary use case of your PC. The Pro version lets one search for the ideal voltage too, but the result is good enough even without using this feature. If everything goes fine, the whole process is fully automated. Yes, it may still take hours to complete, especially when diagnostics for hybrid OC is enabled, and it may crash a few times until the ideal overclocking profile is found. But no worries, even if your PC reboots unexpectedly, the diagnostic process resumes automatically after you log on again. A lazy boy like me disabled the logon password for the time being, so I could leave the process running overnight with no human intervention. When the lengthy diagnostic process is finished, the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything stands, should one choose Hydra's optimized curve or should one go for hybrid OC instead? From my experience, PBO2 with curve optimizer usually provides a minor frequency advantage, but not always. On the other hand, hybrid OC mode offers similar performance, but with huge efficiency gain. In my case, CPU temperature dropped by up to 10 degrees centigrade in average. The power consumption obviously decreased significantly as well. What about you? 
Would you prefer maybe slightly better FPS with noisier fans when gaming, or would you rather go for the more efficient solution? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to support the enthusiastic developer Yuri and get Hydra Pro in return, I'll leave the link to his Patreon page in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.